This is the best time to make a video game. I'm sure you heard these exact words hundreds of times across a strange world of internet lately. And I'm also sure that you wipe these words off by saying that's impossible for me. I'm a talentless, impatient freak. I'll never be able to create such beauty. Well, it may seem that I'm advertising false hope or trying to claim that I'm the indie messiah or something. You sound okay? But no, because making a video game doesn't require good skills at anything really. You may say I'm not a good programmer or I'm not a good artist. Well, I'm sorry to bring it to you, but have you ever heard of a place called, I don't know, YouTube? I can assure you that all of human knowledge is stored inside of this platform. Plus, it's free. There is literally no better word. Yup, surprise, YouTube doesn't just contain Mr. Beast videos and conspiracy theories. Can you imagine that even if you knew nothing about producing music, music or about programming, you can learn anything at any time you want. But you don't really have to master all of the C-sharp language, for example, to be able to make your character walk or shoot or do this. The thing about learning on your own how to make a game is you have a certain goal. This goal requires some specific abilities that you can easily learn for free if you took your time and had patience. But these requirements, like I said, are specific, so you don't have to learn every technical thing and every small detail, because the people that are going to play your game don't give a shit if your code looks like crap. Like look at the code I write. I named this variable P range and this variable P range. I still do not know what's the difference to this very day. But it doesn't matter as long as it gets the job done. Undertale for example is one of the worst programmed games ever made. But did you notice anything? No you didn't. Because the player is going to just start the game, play it. If he liked it he will keep playing. If he didn't he's gonna close your game and open total overdose. <laughs> So yeah, no one gives a shit how you write your code as long as the game is fun. Even the music, you don't have to make these orchestral masterpieces. The simplest compositions and melodies can turn out to be really nice to the ears. And the art, well to take me as an example, I'm a horrible artist. The only thing that I can draw is that rectangular house and these carefully detailed apple trees. But when I saw some tips on YouTube on how I can make good pixel art, which is the art form of my choice, I was able to go from this to this. and I was like, okay, hey, not bad, I'm proud of this motherfucker. And I made a lot of things and ideas to just practice. No human being on this earth is short on imagination. We all have ideas and creations that haven't been created yet. Apparently some are better left that way. Like programming, if a pixel was misplaced in the character design I made, that doesn't wreck the whole game. Because again, nobody's going to care. So on this day and age, everything is learnable. There are literally tutorials on how to drink water or how to peel a potato. So when it comes to the lack of the necessary abilities, abilities are things you gain, not something you are born with. But you may say, so I watched tutorial videos and I saw how these incredibly knowledgeable dudes do shit, but I don't feel that I have gained any skills. Well, watching others solve problems doesn't give you the ability to solve them yourself. Experiencing in these things and trying to create something on your own by remembering the things that you saw watching YouTube and searching for an answer when you have reached a dead end is what makes information sink in. That's at least how I do it. Make a small project, and inside the small project, which can be a Flappy Bird game or whatever, make use of the things you saw. I know it kinda sounds like a drag, but if you're interested in having game development as a hobby or a possible career option, I think you'll enjoy doing stuff. Even if it's hard in the beginning, even if you encounter dozens of roadblocks, you will have enough determination to move past these problems and learn from them. Because unlike school or college or work, things that are forced at your throat, making something you love is different. It's kind of fulfilling. Well, we have established that learning skills is possible. You don't have to be this talented baby Jesus to make a simple game. But what about the tools? How will I know what game engine to use or what music composing software or what art program? Well, these things are simpler than they sound. Just a simple research on Google and you will have your answers. But if you want my opinion, when it comes to engines, it depends on your needs. Game Maker Studio, for example, is a popular choice when it comes to indie developers. A lot of great games were made using 
this engine like Hotline Miami or Hyper Light Drifter, but it's good only in 2D. Unity is great at 3D and it can also have great results in 2D like Hollow Knight and Cuphead. There's also Godot which is gaining popularity each day, but like Game Maker Studio, you will prefer using it just for 2D. And there's also Unreal Engine which is better at 3D and the FPS shit. These are the most known engines, but there are others if you wanna do some research. When it comes to music, I use FL Studio and I think it's great, even if it's not that simple to understand all of its details, but I only practice by doing simple stuff. And if you want to find other music production softwares for your game, do some research. And the final thing, we have art. There are so many art programs that you can choose from. 3D for example has Blender which is as I heard a great tool, and for pixel art I use a sprite and I really recommend it, but there are tens of others that you can choose from based on your preference. Just do some fucking research. And to enter the part where the video tone gets a little more serious, your desire to make video games shouldn't hinder your normal day activities like school or work or college. Because we have to be realistic, the possibility of an indie game actually making good amounts of money isn't the highest, because many factors play, not just how good the game is or how much time you spent on making it. I know it sounds sad, all of us are stuck in this path that we didn't set ourselves, either you're young or old, you still have time to start doing something you love, just do it as a hobby in the beginning. And if it actually started achieving financial success, then congratulations, you are free. But don't just ruin your life just because you feel that you're not following your passion. We all have to be smart about it. Because believe me, I'm on the same boat as you guys. I didn't make any successful video game yet. I don't have any financial independency. I'm still in high school. I'm not even getting money out of YouTube yet. Which is something you can help me with by subscribing and watching the other videos. Just do everything like you used to in the day. And when you go home, get some sleep. Take a nap. Regenerate your energy. Then instead of playing a game or watching Kaguya Sama Love is War, which is tempting to be honest, but you have to tough it out, try to make something. Learn how to make something. Because there is no feeling more beautiful than materializing something into existence, something that wasn't there before, something you made using your hard work and your imagination. I personally ain't giving up anytime soon, I'm gonna learn and learn until I reach a point where I can make a good game that people can play and enjoy. It's the thing that I love doing, it may be a hobby now but I'll try to make it the way I make a living, if God wills it. And again, never lose hope in yourself, unless your soul have been harnessed by the grim reaper you can still try to make the stuff you love to make. There are all kinds of people making tutorial videos, and there are tens of great tools to use, but all of this requires will and patience. And to be honest, we can use more indie games in this dark world, because these games are getting way more interesting than triple A's, and you can see why in this video. So thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, share, and comment and thank you.